This bait gets my adrenaline pumping just looking at it. Hey there, how are you doing today? And I've got an extra special one for you. We're gonna be talking about this bait right here, and no, it's not your traditional square bill. This is a wake bait, and I have to tell you, this particular lure and the way it is designed, it, it's just like heart attack fishing at its finest. I put this in the same category as fishing a topwater or frog fishing. The excitement that I get just by throwing this lure and knowing, knowing it's only a matter of time before it just gets hammered is pretty astonishing. Now wake baits are not something that is brand new. They've been around for quite a while and we've seen many different variations of them over the years. Some of them were shallow jointed uh, swim baits, real similar to the way glide baits look now. But this particular design with your, your more traditional square bill bulging uh, body design and this really this hard angle on this bill just creates an incredible action. Now there are three different ways that I like to retrieve a wake bait, but I'm going to talk about the types of areas to throw it first. If, if you've got a zone of water that is above vegetation, above wood, uh, even a shallow rocky shoreline where you've got about that much water, wow. A wake bait is amazing. It can do such an excellent job of just calling fish up out of that stuff and they just will just aggressively attack this particular lure. So if you've got this, this real skinny zone of water that you may traditionally throw a top water on or even a frog above it or maybe burning a spinner bait, a wake bait is a perfect, perfect choice because you can vary the speed a lot and figure out what are they wanting on that particular day. Or you're going to run it parallel down along some lay down logs or this works really, really well. Maybe you've got some docks that come out in the water and you're just going to put this, this wake bait down there and bulge along the side of the dock. Any time that you've got a situation where you just don't have much water, you don't have a lot of room vertically, the wake bait is going to be a great choice to show them something that's a little bit different or in horizontal positions. Like I said, when you've got those lay down logs or throwing down along the sides of docks, the wake bait is something that's going to offer them a little bit different look as well. So the first retrieve with the wake bait that I will start with is just what I call your standard bulging retrieve and you can see it here in the footage. The lure is, is just barely under the surface of the water and to maintain this bulge there's a couple things that I do. One, I of course throw it on a crankbait rod but I have got 17 pound monofilament on here because that heavier monofilament is going to keep the lure up and then I keep the rod tip up a little bit as well. You can really control the depth with the rod tip. So between the angle of the rod and the heavier amount of filament, it is much easier to keep this bait bulging up near the surface. So the first one is the standard bulge retrieve, and it's just a really great retrieve to start with and then kind of mix it up from there. The second retrieve that I like to do with a wake bait is I burn it just like you would burn a square bill. But this time we're burning this bait in ultra, ultra shallow water. And I'll mix it up between a straight burn and then kind of between a, a stop and a start where I pause it. But so that is the second retrieve that we would use. Very effective, gets reaction strikes. Now the third one. The third retrieve has got to be my favorite. Have you ever seen where you've got some bass in the water, where they're largemouth, smallmouth, whatever, and they're actively chasing small bait fish like minnows or something like that up near the surface, and you just see almost like this Jaws shark type bulge come up and ripple the water as they're chasing those minnows along? That is what this retrieve mimics, and I call it the bulging 
burn because take a look at this how good it is it's like there's a predator chasing after some minnows and when bass see another bass that is actively feeding it kicks in that instinct how many times have you brought a fish to the side of the boat and you look down and you see two three four five other bass trying to take that lure out of its mouth that is what this retrieve this bulging burning retrieve can activate in the fish that are in the area so this one is is got to be my absolute favorite because of the disturbance that it creates and that just kicks in that feeding instinct if you don't have any wake baits in your arsenal as of right now, definitely it is something that I would go pick up two or three with. You don't need that many. Uh, try to match the forage that you have in your particular lake. This one is actually called bluegill here. Uh, this one is the KVD 2.5 wake bait. So go ahead and pick up a few different colors and put them in your arsenal and uh, you're just going to have an awesome time with it. I know it. You're going to love throwing this bait because it's so closely mimics a topwater and we know how much fun that is. But if you want another rig that covers that real shallow zone, that depth really well, go ahead and check this video out here uh, for the double fluke rig. It is just so good and also activates a feeding instinct. And hey, don't forget to go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life for the bass fishing life. I'm your host, Steve Rogers.